Hi, and welcome to this introductory video on Camtasia Studio. In this first video, I'm just going to show you how to drag some media into your timeline and work with it to produce some simple voice or image or movie narration on top of a slide. So I'm going to assume that you've already recorded some video, maybe from a phone or something like that, and that your slides are image files. So in this case, my slides are PNGs and I'm going to drag them into my clip bin. So I'm going to do that right there. And so the clip bin, you see among the list of icons here, you want to pick the one that says clip bin. And then let me find my video slides, or my videos. Here I'll pick two videos, drag them in. Now they're in Camtasia. Camtasia has linked to, to, these, uh, to this, these assets so that you can work with them. So now if I want to draw my uh, drag my slide into my timeline so that we can see it. There it's now it's in my timeline and you can then drag longer or shorter for how long this static image is going to get shown. Now let me drag my video in. I'm going to drag it in as a new track into my timeline. There's my video and I can take it over here and resize it uh, however I'd like on top of my screen. Now notice if I re try to resize it right now, it 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 sort of masks or uh, masks the uh, the image or the movie. So what you want to do is click on this little box up here, and that'll change it for resizing. And then I can resize it to however I want. Now let me drag in my second slide. Now my second slide has been dragged in, and I want to drag in my second movie. Now I want the movie and the slide to align up so I'm going to move them along like that so now this slide here corresponds to this movie and this slide here corresponds to this movie and you can sort of see how it works along here as I move my timeline cursor and then oh, see it switched it switched to the next slide but the video isn't in the same spot well maybe if I'd like the video in the same spot I could copy the visual visual properties of this one and paste them on this one so now it'll be in the same spot. Or you could just move it around and try and get it right. Okay, so now we have our movies, we have our slides, we have our movies overlaid on top of our slides. And by the way, if you make the accident that your your slide is in front of your movie, okay, now I can't see me because my um the, the slide, the background slide is in front of it. You want to click on this entity that's on top of the other one and click send backwards or send to back will bring it all the way back. Or you can do it in the timeline here. Whatever's further up in the timeline will be more front facing in your actual eventual movie. Okay, so now we've got our movie all set up. It's got two sets of videos and two slides that it's overlaid on top of. We can test it out. If you hit spacebar, it'll start playing it. Or you can just click play right here and we'll start playing it. We can maybe add a transition so that transitions between the slides. Let's put cube rotate. So now watch when we get to that point, the slides will actually change like a cube. And then let me get, we could do dissolve for me. So watch the image here as it switches between them. So you can add these easy transitions. So now I'm, let's say I'm pretty happy with my movie. It, it, I have this narration on top of these slides. Now I'd like to produce it. Will you click on up here on produce and share? And um, you can choose a variety of different ways. I would uh, pick something like an MP4. For this exercise, before you've done anything else, I would just pick MP4 only, which is just an ordinary movie file. Um, you can pick the resolution that it that it uh, plays at, and when you pick it and click Next, it'll ask you where you want to save it. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to take the time to render it, but then it'll render the movie and you'll have your movie. In some subsequent videos, we'll go over a lot of the other fancier things that you can do with Camtasia. But thank you for listening and subscribe to the playlist.